Hello everyone and welcome to today's for sale review at Southern Motor Company. What you're seeing right here is a absolutely beautiful 1996 Chevrolet Corvette C4. Stay with us, we're gonna walk through, check it out, let you see the current condition of it, talk about price, mileage, options, and some great reasons why to do business with us right here in North Charleston at Southern Motor Company. All right, everybody, so you got to see some really nice shots of the vet. Now, my purpose in creating this video for you is so you can see the condition of this car. The dealership is asking $12,985 for this 96 C4 vet. And with that being said, I want to show you why it's worth every penny of $12,985. First off, the car is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's in really nice condition. Now, we have standards here at Southern Motor Company when it comes down to it on every pre-owned vehicle on the lot. And this car right here went through a rigorous inspection, also a rigorous detail to be cleaned. Now, that's not to say that the car, when it was traded in and purchased, that it already wasn't in great shape, but Southern Motor Company goes the extra mile when getting a vehicle ready to be on camera and be on the lot for when you come by to test drive it. This car sits actually in that garage at nighttime, so it's not out here exposed to the weather and all that any given day of the week. So when you stop by, you're gonna need to walk in and ask for us and say, hey, I'm here to see that 96 vet, and we'll walk you over, get the keys, and let Mr. Chris that owns the dealership talk with you about this car if he's here that particular day. Now the red paint looks great, it sure does. I mean, this vehicle first off has had a wax job on it like no other. I mean, they seriously dive deep into waxing it. I mean, it feels as smooth as can be. Now I don't want my ring to hit it, so I'm just barely touching. But the entire vehicle has been clay barred, waxed with an orbital buffer, then a nice hand coat to finish things off to give it this beautiful gloss shine and again the depth into that paint there you don't see a whole lot of orange appeal or anything like that so it is really clean now to kind of continue on right the wheels have been refinished so every rim on the car is in great shape they've been refinished guys and girls do you understand that they've been sent to a machine shop and been refinished to have the look like you're seeing right now so you get a beautiful set of stock oem corvette wheels also we put on here a set of mickey thompson tires you got 275 40 17s okay now i think maybe those tires might have already been on i'm not sure if we actually put those on there ourselves but they got tons of tread on them as you can see right there and again mickey thompson is such a great tire brand and it's nice to see a set right here on a c4 corvette so again the 275 40 series tires with a 17 inch wheel on the front the body's in good shape no waves, no dents, no dings, no scratches. Also, you'll notice as we start moving forward a little quicklier here on the video, we're gonna pop the lights, all your headlights, your side marker lights, blinkers, tail lights, everything has got a nice shine to it. Also, the front windshield, a lot of car video guys doing used car videos, they're not gonna point out as much as I'm pointing out to you today. So this may take a little bit of time, but the front windshield on the car, no cracks, no little stars or anything like that, okay? No chips. Front windshield, great shape. All your glass all the way around, okay? All your moldings look good. Rubber feels good, all that. This looks really nice. Take a look. I mean, wow, beautiful car. Back glass looks good as well, okay? Just moving right along. There's the rear end. Let's take a quick look at the back. Yeah, here's your back rims and tires. Getting his rear wheel drive, right? So here's the tread on those. Again, get your fingers nice and deep down in there if you can see what I'm talking about. So plenty of tread on the back tires, just as good as the front tires. A little bit different, well actually, yeah. You got a 275-40 in the back. All right, moving right along, right? I hope you're enjoying this video with us today. 
Now, a little, a little bit of information about what we have going on in the back of the car. When we got this vehicle, it had a different exhaust system on it. It had silver pipes, they were polished, not looking too bad, but they didn't meet the standards of the SMC way, okay? So what I'm getting at here is it just had some muffler shop put them on there. They were hanging down too low. It didn't sound really like it should and all of that. So Mr. Chris took the extra time and money to put the exhaust on here that we have. And I'm telling you right now, it sounds so much better. It's not obnoxious when you're driving down the road. It is a nice, clean OEM exhaust, okay? I love how it's in a matte black finish, squared off, which looks really good. Exhaust pipes sit just like they should under there. They're not hanging down too low, anything like that. Again, the car sits already low enough to the ground as it is. We don't need mufflers and things like that drop down a little bit lower like they shouldn't be because we don't need anything scraping when pulling into parking lots, going into driveways, things of that nature, okay? So anyways, everything looking good so far. The red looks really nice going all the way around on the body lines. Um, in the back, open her up. I mean, just look how nice and clean this is, okay? That is, yes, you got it, your antenna. Still 100% fully functional. You cut your radio on, cut it off, it goes up, it goes down, just like it should. Driver's side, as you can see, looks just as good as the passenger side. So that is our walkthrough on the exterior of the car. Stay with us. Let's go ahead and move forward and take a look at the interior. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and open up the door and hop in and take a look at the interior of this vet. So red on the outside, red on the inside, right? Here's your door panel. Take a look at this door panel. Is it not in great shape? You're gonna see today that all the colors look just like they should look. The black is black, it's not faded. The same with the red. You do have your power windows, your power mirrors, power door locks. Again, everything works as it should. Really nice and clean. Man, this is a clean car. Also, I wanna point out some things to you, right? The car sits low to the ground, right? So where is a spot inside this car that gets a lot of wear, you know, when getting in and out? Right up in here, of course. You know, you're getting in, you may even sit right there a little bit and kind of scoot in, just depending on how you get into your Corvette, right? The carpet, this is the original carpet, and as you can see, it's not all worn out at all. No rips, no tears, or anything like that. The seats, the leather seats, look at them, okay? Just normal stuff here. No rips, no tears in the leather. Yes, it may have some fine little wrinkles here or there like it should. It is leather, right? But again, nothing crazy looking and uh, you no know, rips or anything like that. I mean, these seats are in really nice shape. Also, pay attention. Look here, okay? Your seat belts, still nice and bright and red. And you know, again, just normal stuff here, right? It is a 1996 vehicle. Steering wheel, again, just normal. But again, at the top up here, where you're gripping onto and all, you know, some cars start really getting kind of worn in good up in there. Not the case on this car at all. Looks really nice. Well, we got to crank her up to let you hear the horn, of course, right? The dash on the car also, no cracks or anything like that. It's in good shape. We'll hop in and get a closer look in just a moment here. Center armrest, look at that. Very clean. All this stuff looks good. It is an automatic transmission. There you have it. Um, you do have an Alpine CD player that someone added in at some point or another, and it all does work. And again, I just can't get over it enough. The condition of the car is really nice. AC is super cold, heat is super warm, um, all that stuff, right? Stay with us. All right, everybody, moving right along. Now we're gonna take a look at the passenger side. So, well, <laughs> you can't do it if the door's locked, can you? Let's go ahead and do that. So, you know, a little fun fact here, right? 96 Corvette, it's got two keys, right? The black one here cranks this little booger up. This one right here is gonna do your doors for you. So that's, you know, something a little different. I know, you know, a lot of y'all out there gotten used to the to the smart keys of the world where you don't have to put a key in the door or even in the ignition, but this still gonna give you the feel of a classic car, right? Um, another thing to pay attention to y'all on this Corvette and anyone you're looking at, look at your door jams, right? If you've had a repaint where the car's been resprayed over, if they didn't 
go the extra mile and spend the extra money when doing the paint job if they did the same color the door jams may not have been resprayed right as you can see on our door jams on this 96 vet they are just as red as the outside of the car and again if it wasn't you know again you'd really see that this right in here would be faded and maybe the clear coat starting to chip you know things like that so paint is really nice all the way around this car even under the hood and the back that kind of stuff that's what we're talking about door panel this side looking good right yeah your fuse panel right behind there of course you actually do have airbags passenger side driver's side and then the floors right over here looking really nice it is a manual seats on both sides okay and then there's your passenger seat looking really good right there you go up top looks nice everything looks good you may ask yourself where is the glove box chad right well there's not a glove box necessarily over here basically chevrolet is giving you a nice big area right here to open up and do that kind of stuff all right let's take a look in the back under the hood and we may go a step further let's see all right we're gonna look in the back so to do that you want to come right here and that nice bright big yellow button right here and like i talked about a glove box well there you go you got your books and manuals right there now the rear is open just that simple close her up already popped open shocks still doing everything like they should be doing nice big opening there and of course this is covered up quite nicely here because if you went shopping at the mall today and you put your baggage back here your louis vuitton bag or whatever it may be you don't need anybody seeing what you got going on back here right so that's kind of nice that you got the cover there now what does that do right there right that does something but anyways you pull that and go like that and there is your storage area which actually is a pretty decent amount of room in the back now i always at some point in a Corvette video, share a little bit of information from the past in my life as a kid growing up. My mom had eight Corvettes in her lifetime. God rest her soul, she passed away in 2008 due to kidney disease. Her last Corvette was a C4 white with red interior. This vehicle right here truly does bring back so many memories of me and my mom in her Corvette. Now, <laughs> she shouldn't have done this possibly, but sometimes the Corvette other than my dad's car, and he was an insurance salesman, so he wasn't home all the time. Sometimes this was the only car we had to get around town in. And if I wanted my cousin or a friend to go off with us, guess what I or they would do? That's right, one right here, mom right there, and you got it, one of us in the back. Funny story, if you can hang with us, right? Mom had a Corvette. We had two Doberman Pinschers. She had the Doberman Pinschers back here. Can you believe that? That's crazy, right? Not in the white Corvette we're talking about. It was a different one. But anyways, my mom had two Doberman Pinscher dogs. She had them in the back back here. She went into a Woolworths store. Woolworths is kind of like Walgreens, you know, CVS, something like that. This is her story. She left the windows cracked and walked in, uh, you know, in somewhere, okay? But she had bought, you got it, a Hershey bar and she told me she took a piece and ate it and she left a Hershey bar in the car somewhere I'm assuming it's winter time right because it would melt any other time she told me she came back out to the car and the dogs had eaten the Hershey bar and when riding down the road going back home with dogs what do you think happened with both of those Doberman Pinschers you got it they had diarrhea <laughs> so anyways just a little fun thing there right i hate i'm glad i wasn't alive when that happened but what a funny little story i always laughed so hard when my mom told me that story as a kid why would she have two doberman pinchers back here and why would she leave a hershey bar for them to eat and then pfft, all over the place just saying all right everybody last part of the video here we're gonna crank her up let y'all see under the hood. She's alive. Sounds good, right? Oh, yeah. There we go. All that's looking good, right? Oh, yeah. No check engine lights. None of that stuff. 
Everything looks great. All right, let's put her in drive. We'll actually put her in reverse for a minute. Just a nice, clean Corvette. You know, we do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video with us, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, any of those websites out there. Maybe you're even on our, our website, right? Or some type of social media site. We do appreciate your time watching. As always, if you're in the market for a Corvette, come on down and see us at Southern Motor Company. We always keep a few on, 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 the, uh, on the grounds out here. We'll pull her into the shop like we said earlier. This is where she stays until she sells. So we do thank you for taking the time to watch this with us. Stay with us, guys. I'm going to roll in for just a moment, and uh, we will pop the hood and let you see how it looks under there. All right, let's take a look under the hood of the Corvette and see what we got going on here today. Getting a little vlog style going on with this part of the video for you, but... There you have it. Headlights look good, all that's looking nice. There you have it, yeah. Now one of the things that I've been told by Mr. Chris that owns Southern Motor Company is that these Corvettes right here and that engine are some of the most reliable vehicles reliable engines they are really good you can still work on them you can still buy parts for them you can get out in the garage at the house do what you need to do change out parts oil changes all that stuff you know that's what it's all about being an american getting outside with your son or your daughter working on your car driving it down the road on the weekend just enjoying life to the fullest here in the u.s of a thank you for watching with us guys god bless america as always, come and see us at Southern Motor Company. We'd love to earn your business. Like, comment, subscribe right here on YouTube or Facebook. And thank you again. I'm Chad. I'm signing out. $12,995. That's the deal. Great mileage. Visit on our website at southernmotorcosc.com for more details about this Corvette. Later.